Hey everyone, and welcome to another custom challenge run in the Binding of Isaac. Today, uh, this is my 100th challenge run. Yay! Um, I've decided that I am going to do another Infinite D6 run, and uh, the suggestion for the theme has come from Antimatter Dynamite, which I assume is because uh, he ran out of characters and it would be Antimatter Dynamite. But I don't know for sure, because I don't know the character limit on YouTube. It's been a while since I made an account on YouTube. Anyway, as you can see, Infinite D6. Uh, the goal this time is going to be making myself really ugly. So there are a few things that come to mind, like Squeezy. Um, well, actually, Squeezy is the only thing that comes to mind, but there are a lot of very clear options. Growth Hormones, probably also Roid Rage. Uh, basically, the syringes pretty much all make you unattractive, except Speedball. Speedball makes you adorable, because it makes your eyes huge. It's great. But, uh, anyway, the moral of the story is we are going to be super, super unattractive, ideally. Uh, I found pills would be great, but I can't really guarantee that one. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going for. And, uh, depends on your definition of ugly, or just you know, demonic kind of being one of those things that could happen. Uh, Polyphemus, I think that if someone had literally one eye in the middle of their head, they would be pretty ugly. And, I mean, Polyphemus did come to my mind, I just didn't expect to see it so quickly. So, I will take it first. I think that that's... You know, I imagine most of you don't have this eye situation, so I don't think I'm offending anyone by saying, yeah, this is kind of ugly. But, you know, whatever. Speaking of ugly or not ugly, I went shopping today. I got like tons of clothes. It was great. That's my story. That's all you need to hear about it, <laughs> honestly. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to start wearing new stuff. It's finally starting to get warm in my area, so uh, I can start wearing shorts and stuff again and just have a great time as being less encumbered by clothing. It'll be good. So now we're going to fight this here. Boss and its monstro should be pretty easy. Polyphemus does make us have uh, very damaging tears. Uh, now here's the thing. Do I want to take like brimstone or something? If I get that opportunity? I don't know. And what boss items would make me particularly ugly? Because I, I don't know. Coin purse? Not really. I mean, having a hanger through your head, kind of theoretically ugly. It'd also be kind of hard to get near them in, like, an intimate way, because, like, they've got this hanger through their forehead. And in this case, it's through my eye. Uh, I think that would be a repulsive sight for many people. Because, I mean, look at that. He's got an, a thing sticking out of his eye. This is going to be an interesting episode, I can already tell. Like, <laughs> I just, I know it. Oh, yeah, why not? Sure, thanks. Now I know where the secret room is as well. So that's nice. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm ugly. But we'll get there. We will get there. Believe you me. There are a lot of items left for me to get as terrible as I can possibly be. But uh, the moral of the story of that part of the uh, floor was that we came out with an extra soul heart and a half. And uh, it'll be great times hopefully not losing it. Of course, it's more likely that we will lose it. But let's see. Remote detonator? No thanks. Able? No thanks. No. No, you don't help me either. Nope. Nope. A horror Babylon does kind of make you ugly. But it's not going to stay active, so it doesn't really help me. I'll touch that for the bombs. Let's see. Nope. Uh, nope. None of these things make me ugly. There we go. Growth hormones. Now I'm pretty gross. Yeah. Alright, and it's good because it's damage and speed up, so, you know, it's, a, it's an item I want. As opposed to just an item that makes me not attractive. So this run, um, it seems it's going to be one where I go kind of against my morals and I'm willing to take more speed ups than normal. So that's kind of... that's going to be what it is. It is what it is, you know. It's weird how sometimes you can shoot through things on other, the other sides of rocks, like I killed that fly when I technically shouldn't have been able to, but it seemed like the explosion of my tear or something did did the work. 
Which, you know, I'm okay with. It's just not supposed to work like that, I don't think. Let's see if we can get a deal with the Devil this floor. Ideally, this should be a relatively simple boss fight. Yeah, you're gonna go into head now. Yep. And we do it without taking damage. No deal with the Devil anyway. I can't reroll the cube of meat no matter how hard I try. So, uh, it's gonna be... I guess I should explore that last room. I am relatively fast now, thanks to growth hormones. So, uh, everything is all good. Backtracking isn't a huge deal. I don't have any water here, and I kind of need it. But I guess I'll be okay. I guess I could also go to the, uh, secret room. Since I have nine bombs. So that'll work out for me. Maybe it'll have an item. Maybe I'll decide to be really ugly. I don't know. And I mean, I'm sorry if I combine things. It's like, well, alone, this isn't the ugliest thing in the world. Like, you have a bump because you got bitten by a spider. Well, you can't really do anything about that, and it's not permanent. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make you ugly. But, like, when you're this thing... Sorry. Sorry if this is you. I didn't mean to offend. But that that's just kind of... It's, you know, every little thing adds up in that case. Okay, what do you got for me? Nine cents. So I guess we're going to the shop. The shop doesn't have anything that'll make us ugly, unfortunately. So I'll just have to reroll every item out of the shop pool. I expect that this game will end in us uh, freezing. This run will end up in uh, the game freezing. Come on, I can't take these things as much as I want them. No, nope, you. No, well, now we're out of. Uh, yeah, that'll give me a giant head, so... If your head's too big for your body, that's also very weird. Uh, it's also a damage up and a health up. So I kind of... You know, I'm, I'm being a little lenient. But really, do we care how strict I am with the rules here? I have an infinite D6. I do what I want. Okay, now I've got this half heart, and we will head to the next floor. Where? Why not? Wow, the wafer. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to take that. <laughs> it's a tough choice. I think more than likely I don't need it at all. Because I'm very powerful. Uh, the halo, as much as I would love it, does not make you ugly. So I will reroll it. So you see, I'm not just doing things to, um, you know, benefit me as well as making me fitting the theme. Now, Wiggle Worm kind of does make you ugly, but eh. I can do better. I don't remember if Bob's Curse actually has like a, a, a an effect on my look. It probably does, but then again, you never know. None of these are helping me too much. There we go. Lard does. Now I'm really fat and slower. So uh, again, sorry if this is a picture of you. Uh, maybe you should hit the gym without steroids. Yeah. Because that, that kind of adds up, I suppose, as well. I don't know, unless you need the steroids. But not like, oh, hey, I want to be jacked, so I'm going to just take a bunch of drugs. That's not, that's not a cool thing to do. Okay. Oh, yeah, we may as well go in here. Oh, we don't have any keys. Uh, because we can reroll all the items out of the pool, and then we have more item rooms, basically. So that we can, like, assure that we uh, freeze the game later. Because what else do we need in life? If you can't freeze the game, you're doing it wrong. So, uh, you know, you guys are going to get this run as long as the run allows me to play it. I can't really get through here, by which I mean I can't get through here at all without uh, picking up the counterfeit penny, unfortunately. So uh, we'll do that, and then we'll take Mom's Pearl again. Mom's Pearl, by the way, is an increased 10% chance that any hard drop becomes a soul hard drop instead, provided that hard drop is not a specific type like Bloody Penny always giving a um, half heart. So it's pretty good. It also stacks with a miter's increased 50% chance of that. I'm going to take this pill, because why not? Also gets me this heart. Bad gas. Well, I can imagine that being unattractive as well. So let's fight this boss just because we're here. The hollow. Plenty of tinted rocks this run. And they're all giving me one soul heart. But you know, that's one more soul heart than I would have had if I didn't get any of those individual tinted rocks. So I'm not going to complain about it, because it's uh, not worth complaining about. 
So uh, as it turns out, BBC totally wasn't activated yet like it was supposed to be. So I, I didn't get to watch Doctor Who live, which is unfortunate, but it is okay. I will be able to do so later. Let's see if there's anything in here that I want. I kind of want Guppy's paw just to make that thing a happen thing. Uh, Spirit of the Night, I don't know how much that would change our look. So here's the thing. Yes. Now, how much do I use it? I think I use it... I think that's enough. And then I'm going to re-roll both of them. Guppy's tail isn't a bad thing to take, but I don't exactly want it, even though like it'd be good to have and I'd be two-thirds of the way to Guppy, and then I could re-roll this and become Guppy. Would a giant cat be ugly? Kind of. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, like, I'll do it. Uh, the mark, what does the mark add to us visually? Oh, just a 666 six, six on our head. I don't know how that would change, like, with our eye. As much as I like it, I don't need it. Don't need the parasite either. The pack turns us, like, all black in a not racist way, you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't think that is necessary either. Dead cat doesn't actually change us visually. It would complete our becoming of guppy, but... It would also suck, so I'm going to re-roll it. And then I'll take Guppy's head, because now we're Guppy. Or now we'll be Guppy. Yeah, and we're a gross kind of cat here. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll keep re-rolling now. Don't need that. Uh, the nail I'll take and use once. Uh, okay. No, I don't need you. Don't need you. Wow, this is a truly... Impulsive thing. Look at his teeth have, like, balls. Uh, I don't need that. Ouija board. No, that's okay. I do want brimstone, though. So now we're, like, incredibly overpowered, and I think we look weird enough and ugly and stuff. The health up probably doesn't hurt to get. But I can also reroll it for a better health up. Definitely don't need a range up. Ah, the pentagram. That would give us horns normally. Yeah, I'll take it. Even though I really don't need damage. Yes, there we go. But it did get rid of our uh, sweet facial things. But we can also, by the way, becoming Guppy allows us to spawn uh, kamikaze flies as well as fly. So it's really good. And those kamikaze flies do twice our damage, which, uh, if you were unaware, I have brimstone and polyphemus, so my damage is actually pretty much the max that it gets naturally. Of course, each damage up will help a little bit, but, like, it, it's pretty incre incredible already. Let's see if this is the secret room. If not, it's probably up there. But this is it. Uh, I, I will play you. Because I want a key so that I can go to that library and get some more items. Let's see what this pill is. And ate them. Oh, good, it made me more unattractive, maybe? No, you can't tell, because Brimstone ruined it. Well, I'm sorry. And, considering our damage, this charges relatively quickly. Relatively. It's it's supposed to be incredibly slow, and it's only moderately incredibly slow, if you know what I'm saying. Don't need that heart. Two of hearts is also relatively useless now, as well. But, and continue anyway. What did I pick up in the boss room? I don't even know. I'm trying to think about it. Ah, there we go. That's the key I wanted. I actually haven't a clue. Although I really want Squeezy, because that would make me atrocious. Alright, so I have to touch all these, and I will use the Book of Sin once for a coin. Anyway, you have to touch them to get them out of the item pool. I'll use the Book of Revelations once, because it gives me a soul heart. Take the, that. This is going relatively quickly. So we're going to see what we can get out of this whole endeavor, Telepathy for Dummies. And I think that's the last one. No, Monster Manuel. Of course. <clears throat> of course. Alright, Loki's horns. No, I don't need either of you. Don't need either of you. I really want the miter. Nah, screw it, I'm taking it. Uh, heart. Uh, yeah, that would be kind of ugly if your heart is just, like, hanging out in front of you. I think many people would not be cool with that. And I, I would probably consider myself among them. If, if this were you got like, that's oh, just terrible. 
So we're going to continue on. Hard was health up and full health, by the way, if you were unaware. And we're actually not doing too bad. Yeah, our kamikaze flies are absolutely going to shred everything. So uh, look forward to that. I know I do. $3 bill doesn't really mess with our appearance. Deck of cards I will use once. We get the chariot, which is probably better than what we've got there. Uh, relic would be nice. Portable slot. Virus, yes. I don't know if it'll still change our appearance. Yeah, Brimstone's appearance seems to be overriding things. So that kind of sucks, but you get one-shotted. You get the dead cat, which I certainly do not need. Fetus in a jar I do not want, and it doesn't really change our appearance too much. Um, Charm of the Vampire would make me have vampire stuff, but eh. Ah, yes, Peeper. Peeper pops our eye out. I think that if you walked around like that, with your eye looking like that, you would probably not not do too well. Not at all. So, uh, I think that this run is going moderately successfully with its theme. By the way, I can really seriously just go through, wow, money equals power. Wow, that'd be pretty good to have, but I'm gonna keep re-rolling. Don't need that. Yes. Yeah, because now look at my eye. So both of my eyes are pretty messed up right now. Yeah, see, our kamikaze flies are, like, absolutely incredibly powerful due to, uh, Brimstone Polyphemus. So that's pretty nice. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, we have the virus allowing us to do contact damage to enemies. And also damage over time after, after that contact damage. It's pretty good. Definitely one of my favorite items, especially if you have invincibility, it's amazing. Okay, I don't need that. And the chariot gives us that invincibility, by the way, so we can just, like, go in to whatever fight we want. Wow. We can't reroll Little Chad, by the way, as much as I'd like to, so we're just going to take him. Little Chad will drop a half red heart for us after every two rooms. So at least he'll be keeping us alive, I guess. Yeah, this turned into a pretty easy run, but you know what? I am still atrocious. I am meeting the requirements. I even have this sweet aura around me that uh, comes from the miter. It's just like accentuating all of the bad. So we don't have any keys, unfortunately. That doesn't help us go into the item room and get more items to make us more ugly. Sorry, uh, I will hopefully get there as we continue. But note that Guppy's tail does make it so that you are less likely to get uh, normal drops and more likely to get chest drops balls of steel that's awesome that of course gave us two soul hearts not that we could see but it's still very good and miter paying off with those uh, sweet nasty soul hearts uh, I'm gonna go to the deal with the devil first infestation would make us pretty ugly so I'll take that and I'll reroll this until I get something that would also yeah infestation didn't oh why did I reroll roid rage I'm sorry skinny on mushroom nope Oh, why didn't I take toothpicks? What am I doing with myself? There we go. Stigmata. So now I'm just like bleeding out of my eyes and... Oh man, if I'm not a terrible sight for you, you might be doing it wrong. Uh, do I want this health up then? Let's reroll it. Let's just get meat. Nope, squeezy. Gotta take squeezy. So now I, I have both of my eyes again, but they're also popped out of my head real far and it's just kind of terrible. I think it all works out. Anyway, Infestation will spawn Kamikaze Flies for us uh, if we get hit. So, I mean, that's really good because, you know, we our Kamikaze Flies are incredibly powerful. And let's see if this is the secret room, just because. Nope, can't bomb our way into the item room, unfortunately. So we just have to hope to get lucky with either a uh, normal chest or a uh, key drop instead. Because, again, Guppy's tail is ruining our drop chances of those things of well of not chests so we just gotta get lucky and then now we need two keys well that's two bombs ha get wrecked and note that mom's pearl is still stacking with the miter which is great so we have like 60% increased chance or unless they stack like non-linearly where it's like 
we have uh, increased 50% chance and then 10% more is like just 5% or something. I don't know. What I know is uh, we get an increased chance from both. Chance from both. Yes, there we go. No, stop giving me bombs. I don't have anything that should be causing me to get all these bombs. Come on, get in on that. Great. Delightful. Now put a put a key in here. That's not a key. Don't even know what it is either. Tears up. That's really good. That'll uh, decrease the charge time of brimstone. You fools, get out of my way. So it looks like we're not going anywhere. Well, actually, we can see if the secret room is uh, next to the library like it should be, and then we can bomb into the library. Do I have infinite bombs or something? No. Oh, you jerks. Okay, so we can bomb our way into the library. We have bunches of money, so that would have been nice. And, I mean, if, if you think that the uh, money glasses were attractive, that's you're also wrong about that. Uh, now, Mutant Spider would lower our damage, but it would make us ugly. I'm still not going to take it, because screw lowering my damage. Oh, gosh darn it. I even knew that would happen, but whatever. I don't need either of you, don't need either of you. Yes? No, it didn't work. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Splunker hat doesn't really affect us. Mom's eye would put an eye in the back of our head. Normally would, sorry. Didn't know. See, I don't know, oh, our, our other horns are gone. Um, so Brimstone really messing things up, but anyway, the moral of the story now is that we don't have any keys we can't get to the item room or the shop, unfortunately. So we've just got to head on our way and wreck some fools, and hopefully not freeze the game, which... I don't know. <laughs> no promises. Last time we froze the game with this, we were, uh, in like the womb 2, maybe? That or the womb 1. Oh, I totally forgot we could freeze enemies with Mom's Contacts, because I just kill them all immediately. Key? Nope. So uh, I'm really not too sure about our ability to get more items, but then again, it doesn't seem like the items are affecting us all that much, so it doesn't matter. Feels like I might sneeze, but I... Ah, delightful. I can't say that it's definitely going to happen. It feels like it's kind of passing, but it's like also kind of there, so it kind of sucks. Kinda, kinda, kinda. Oh wow, we shoot the Polyphemus tier. That's cool. I, I, I mean, as much as I like orbitals, these things aren't helping me. Nah. Don't need you either. I don't need these things. These things aren't making me ugly or helping me. Okay. All stats up, but it's normally going to remove my skin. Unfortunately, it didn't, but if you can imagine, I would be very ugly right now. It also lowered my speed, so it's all stats up except speed down, which I don't really care about. I am fast enough. Oh, why did I do that? I knew he could jump on the rock. I was like, oh, I'm safe here. I obviously was not safe here. I uh, don't need that. Though I am going to be ditching the um, Mom Pearl for the Polaroid this floor. Whatever. I, I feel like I'm doing incredibly well with respect to your jerk. With respect to that. Uh, soul hearts and health in general. So it's all really fine. More tinted rocks. I am happy with all these tinted rocks. I could still do it. Yes. And every single one is just like one heart. Anyway, I'm fighting the boss now because I'm too lazy. I thought you would die from that. But you died from that. Pageant Boy, nope. Belt, nope. Kind of Nine Tails, nope. We'll take meat because it would give me these manly eyebrows. Ah, it did. And now I'll take the Polaroid and be on my way to probably complete the game successfully. Curse of the Labyrinth means that once we find the boss, uh, we're done. We, f we killed the two bosses and we're gone. There are twice as many rooms and uh, two boss rooms. There would be two item rooms if there were to be item rooms, which there no longer are. Yeah, that's, uh, it's nice when you, uh, when you're in a hurry, or when, I mean, you know, just when you're on the womb. That was really lucky, so uh, we're all set to finish this floor quickly. Wow, why is the phone so ugly sounding? 
I don't know if you guys can hear it, because it did stop after one. So now let's see what we got. Conquest. Almost one-shotted him, and then he died. White Pony is a reroll for show. Stem cells. Yeah, why not? Because that should put a thing on the side of my head. Yeah. See? I got this down. I would be the ugliest thing this side of the universe, probably. Can't really say with certainty. But now let's take this, go to the cathedral, fight Isaac, uh, shred him. Then we're not going to get items on this floor unless we come across a library. But we will get at least three items in the chest unless we don't get, or unless we do get another key. Balls of steel, that's awesome. Let's see what's in here. Not skeleton key. Yeah, well, we'll find Isaac and kill him, and then we'll go to the chest and get get items there. Thank you, Kamikaze Flies, for being so strong. What could you be? Bad trip. Well, that's unfortunate. But that'd be full health if we were to, um... If it would kill us, it would become full health. So strong. So strong. Spoonbender. Yes, just because of the effect. Nah, it didn't do it. Oh well. I am trying to uh, keep the game from crashing as well. Ah, well, that didn't have what I wanted. What are you? Don't know. Health up. That's crazy. That's okay though. I'm not too worried about. Okay, the chariot again. So we have some invincibility and contact damage. Oh gosh darn it. There we go. Soul hard, and now we have the uh, Polaroid invincibility guaranteed if we get hit a ton of times. Wow, I one-shot Gertie Jr. Jr. That wasn't Gertie the Elder. God, these flies. So good. Don't get powerful flies too much. Wow. Ah, Screw you. I'm using a bomb to get you out of the way. See that? I didn't have to ruin my Polaroid invincibility, and all it cost me was a bomb. I think a bomb is worth five seconds of invincibility, don't you? All right, so we did run across a library. Uh, yeah, I think that's worth it. Yeah, chemical peel would normally shear off half our face. Uh, Ipecac would make us be vomiting, and I don't think it overrides brimstone. Yeah, it doesn't, but it didn't do what it was going to do. So uh, we just took things that would have made us uglier, but didn't actually end up doing so. And we also sacrificed a key. So that's one less item we get in the chest, unfortunately, but I guess we'll live. And not like it's a huge inconvenience. We're gonna keep... we don't need the items, and we don't seem to be getting uglier, really. Alright, don't need you, because I don't have the lucky foot. I rerolled that a while ago. Okay, so we're gonna like five shot Isaac or something. Less with the flies. Yeah, it looks like a four shot. Just like the Halo 3 BR. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we can get with our two keys. Uh, neither of those. Mom's knife would be great, but nope. Nope. Uh, technology 2 would lower our damage and not work with Brimstone, I don't think. But eh, we don't need it for the look. Uh, Crown of Thorns, no. Blood of the Martyr, by the way, is what it's called. Uh, you, Black Bean, do make me uglier. We, well, you would have. Got these hairball, I mean, if you get, if you had a hairball orbiting around you, you'd, that'd be kind of unattractive. Max's head makes us kind of adorable. But actually, I'm just going to take it because it multiplies our damage by 1.5. So, uh, forget the run. We have lots of damage. And that's all that matters. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. One shot Gertie. Almost. We almost one shot Gertie. Thanks to um, Kamikaze Flies, of course. This is just great. This is like dream come true. I don't need the Eternal Heart, and the Eternal Heart would prevent us from getting uh, Polaroid Invincibility, unless I were to take um, one of those Red Hearts to get me back to full health, which I could, and then I suppose it is just like having one extra hit that I can take. But that's not, uh, not happening, because I'm stubborn and lazy. Okay, you... Gosh, this is just ridiculous. And yes, I know at this point it would be easier to have picked up 
a heart and the eternal heart. But forget it, I am I don't even care. Don't even care. Could this be the way? We can't get the heart, by the way, because we already got it. Balls of steel. Awesome. I mean, we're going to do fine in the fight. Ah, uh, yes, tough love. Yes. <laughs> I think it was pretty evident why I said yes to that. Still no keys. That's okay. I don't really expect them this late in the game. It seems like they get rarer as you get further in the game. As well as, like, the fact that they shouldn't be appearing much due to, oh my god, that tooth was huge. Uh, is due to the fact that we have Guppy's tail. Hey, look, it's Speedball. But I, that doesn't make me uglier, really. Sad Onion, nope. Uh, this makes me bigger. And all stats up. So you can see it better. Like, if I could be as large as I was on, like, the uh, run where I got... Oh, by the way, it made it, it gave us full health. As a run where I got, um... Odd mushroom each room. Well, that'd just be atrocious. That'd be horrible. Alright. So this is going to be great. It's going to be a pretty easy fight. Probably going to be another four shot. Oh, you jerk. You ruined my four shot. Well, sort of. So, uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was my third Infinity 6 run. Also my 100th challenge run. Uh, so thank you guys for supporting me for this long to get to that many episodes of challenge runs. Because all the challenge run suggestions come from you guys. Well, almost all of them. I might have given myself one or two. Anyway, please do leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I will do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining. Um, here's to another hundred. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.